Today we're going to check out Leonardo Alchemy, a feature that enhances your images and has recently been made available to free users of the platform. The way it works is you get high resolution, so between one and a half to two times the resolution, a contrast boost and resonance which adds detail to the images but can get pretty busy. So the idea is that you simply turn it on, it'll enhance your images and give it a bit more of a striking look. So to start off, I'm gonna type a prompt up here just cause I want to see how it handles faces and glowing eyes and just something a little bit different just to sort of bring that image to life. I'm gonna be using Dream Shaper version five for pretty much no reason other than just to pick something that's relatively new. And I have Alchemy turned off and I'm gonna turn off prompt magic. I'm just gonna see what we get with the first and we're gonna build from there, generate. So these are the images we're able to produce with Dream Shaper just straight up, nothing fancy. They're pretty striking. The purple, the use of purple, the face, it looks pretty good. Uh, they haven't been upscaled, but generally speaking, this is what we can expect. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn on Prompt Magic as another set of comparison, and we're gonna generate again. Now with Prompt Magic, you can see how it's added a bit of depth to that image and made it a little bit more intense, something a little bit crazier and uh, a bit of a step up, I think. This is a little... It all depends on your taste though, but uh, overall, I think that Prompt Magic has done a pretty good job of giving us a striking image, even though on the right he has that two mustache look, but I have seen some beards in real life look like that, so I'm not gonna judge the AI on that one. So now let's we'll turn on Alchemy, and we're just gonna leave these settings at about halfway. And I've turned off high resolution. We're just gonna see what we get from there. And check out this image. It's a whole different level of striking. It really pulls you in, and the second image Again, same thing, that glow of the eyes, it looks really, really awesome. And I haven't even added high resolution. And we can also upscale these as well. But so far, this has actually been a bit of a step up in quality. But let's play with some of these settings. Before we turn on high resolution, I'm gonna turn the contrast up to about here. So with the contrast boost at 0.75, it is just a little bit higher in contrast. These two images were produced, but let's bump it up to one. So we've got full contrast and you can see just how much more sort of like darkness there is in the image. And also the highlights are more present and you can see every little hair in the beard. And I've bumped this all the way down to zero now to compare and you can see how it softened the image by comparison. So the contrast really does just add contrast, but it does have a pretty striking look to it. But let's try bumping the image up to high resolution and it kind of does something a little bit funny with the image. Even though the image is larger, it uh, has done something a little bit strange with the overall look. So I'm gonna copy the C from the last image to give it the same starting point to see if we can get a more similar result. I've got the seed here, advanced setting, use a fixed seed, turn that on and let's generate again. So again, we've got some funny results, but if I turn the high resolution off and try again, the results are actually much better. So high resolution may have some effects on the way the image looks. So it may be good in some instances and not in others. But what happens if we play with the resonance? So a higher number can introduce more scale. So let's crank that up to full and see how far that takes us. Now you can see there's actually a ton of detail in this. It's the same image, but with the resonance turned up. I'll quickly compare these against each other to see what difference we can we get. So here is the image with the same seed, exact same image with resonance at minimum, halfway, and then also at maximum. And you can see there's some slight differences in lighting. But zooming in on the eye and sort of flicking between minimum and maximum, you can see the kind of difference I'm talking about. It's pretty minimal, but still something worth considering. But let's take our image here and let's see what we can get out of it. Let's really try to bring it to the maximum. I'm gonna come down to our image resolution here. As you can see, we have about a three to two scale. I'm gonna crank this up to 1024. So we've boosted the resolution here. I'm not gonna turn on high resolution yet, but I will do a second version with it as well. So here's where it gets interesting. By increasing the resolution, I've changed the image and it doesn't look as good as before. I come back here, this is the high resolution with the, if the image resolution bumped to full and it's got some weird artifacts. Something to consider is the resolution that the model was trained on. So by increasing the resolution, I believe we've actually done a bit of a, a bit of damage to the image. So I actually think, unless you're happy with the results you get on high resolution, I'd actually recommend keeping that off for now until I fine tune it. So instead, let's work on one of our better ones. Let's take this one again, and we can now unzoom or upscale. I'm gonna give it an alchemy crisp upscale. 
So we can use Alchemy to upscale this image to see how big it is and what the detail is like. So our image size is 2304 by 1536. And as you can see, it looks pretty crisp. There's a few sort of funny artifacts in here, like they've tried a little bit too much detail. But let's try the Alchemy Smooth Upscale and then compare the two. So now we have the Smooth Upscale here. If I zoom in and compare it, you can see the difference in detail. However, I feel like the, the cleaner sort of upscale does look better, but you can see how it's really cut out a little detail. So uh, overall, an amazing job with the upscaler there, but let's compare it to the creative upscaler that Leonardo AI has. You can see a lot of the detail here has been lost. Now, while it's funny because this image is actually higher resolution, it's 3056 by 2032 pixels, while the Alchemy upscales are 2304 by 1536. Yet it's lost so much of the detail when you compare it to the others. So I've resized the others and brought this one in its native resolution so we can compare. This is the creative, the smooth, and the crisp. The crisp does look best, but also looks a little bit the messiest at the same time. So uh, somewhere in between would probably be preferred. However, when I take them into something like Topaz Gigapixel, the crisp really shines with the upscaling. So this is the smooth, which has some good details, and this is the crisp which is a little bit sharper in certain areas. But if you take both of those upscales, zoom in and compare them, you can see they're both actually pretty good. Basically the Alchemy upscale is good either way. So definitely a cool feature. Now there is another step towards Alchemy besides just these settings here on the left. Now I can also go over here where it says general. There's actually a whole bunch of Alchemy styles you can choose a creative, dynamic, illustration, photography. So I went ahead and just very quickly generated a bunch of images using those styles. So I grabbed the wizard again, and this is the anime preset. This is the dynamic preset. This image made using the environment preset. This is just using the general preset. Illustration, photography, ray traced, seems to have added some metallic items to him. 3D render, which I think turned out really well. Love the fingers down the bottom here. Sketch, black and white, actually added some of that purple from the prompt into his eyes. Sketch color, which has a very cool look to it as well. This is no preset, none. It's just called none, and that's pretty much it. But I think we've actually seen enough wizards for one day, so I decided to take it for a test drive and compare a few different images to see what we got. So I created this bubbling magic potion in the wizard lab using just the standard Leonardo sampler, but I decided to switch over to alchemy and I use the general preset to create this which I think adds a little more depth to the image and just gives it a bit more of a cool look and again another version of that using the general sampler with alchemy but this time I tried alchemy high res and I got this image which I think turned out exceptionally well and um, this time I did a beautiful woman's face warrior stare just to see what kind of results we get with faces and again this is just using the standard Leonardo sampler Switch again to Alchemy and again using that general preset and the image just has a really cool glow to it. And even though it's not the same style of image, it just looks incredible. The detail is not high, but it's just got that, it has got details in the right places, but it's got a bit of simplicity with it. And the skin really glows. This is something I think is impressive and probably very difficult to get with AI art or even art in general. This time I tried Alchemy Higher Res, added a few spots and bits and pieces, but still a very cool looking image. And once again, that glow just looks really incredible. This is a desolate war-torn battlefield. I want to see how well it did with images like that. Once again, standard Leonardo sampler. Then this one using Alchemy, just general again, it uh, changes it to a really active war zone and adds a lot of depth to that image. Actually a completely different image when you look at it, but still pretty cool either way. I then added the high res and got a similar image, but of course, slightly different configuration, but still very, uh, very in-depth image compared to the first. But then I also tried a hot rod parked inside a diner and it looks like a piece of artwork, another sample of it where the hot rod looks a little bit out of place, but check out the alchemy sample looks like an actual photograph. Even though it's not in a diner, the hot rod looks incredible. And this other one, another awesome photo of a hot rod. It's got a reflection. It just looks like a photo. It doesn't look like AI art at all. 
I, if I saw this, I would not think it was made with Leonardo AI. And this is the power of alchemy. This time I used the vintage style photography setting, but the standard Leonardo setting, no alchemy turned on. And I got this photo, which doesn't look bad, but the eyes and things are a bit messed up. When I switched over to alchemy, I got no people whatsoever, even though it says a photo of a happy couple. So you do have to adjust your prompts every now and then to get what you want. Now this is again made using alchemy, a tiny cute hairy monster with sunglasses. I use the cute characters model uh, with alchemy and the preset 3D render. But when I turn off alchemy and the 3D render, I get this creature, which is actually closer to the prompt, but not quite as detailed and fun looking. But um, so you get a higher quality, but the interpretation of my prompt wasn't as good with alchemy this time around. I decided to change to isometric sci-fi buildings. So I created this monolithic futuristic battle station and it's kind of like a nice piece of artwork using that isometric featured model. But I switched to alchemy and I get this, which is probably slightly different, not really much better. So it goes to show you it's not always going to be better in every scenario. Now I have this magic glowing crystal made with the crystals deposit alternate model. This one was made using alchemy, has a bit of depth to it, a bit of a glow. This one made without where it still looks like a good image, but has a bit of a flatter appearance. It doesn't quite have that depth that the alchemy version had. And this was using no preset. Uh, this is just straight up, no alchemy, Leonardo, but using the crystal deposits model, alternate model. And just for fun, I decided to include a powerful transformer robot with alchemy high res using Dream Shaper version seven, version seven uh, the 3D render preset of alchemy. And um, not bad, a little bit uh, all over the place, but I really like the depth and 3D feel it added to this image. Now I even uploaded an image of my own, which I'll put side by side here. And I cranked up the uh, sort of like the input of the image to see what would come out. And it looks like it's basically reproduced the image and changed a few details like the face. Uh, I made this image years ago. It's a photograph of a toy that I sort of photoshopped up. So it was actually pretty interesting to see what the Alchemy High Res did in comparison to what I fed it. Now, don't forget to check out Leonardo AI's Alchemy for yourself. Uh, it is a paid uh, feature at the moment. It is coming to free eventually, but uh, it's a really cool sort of enhancement on their existing model so um there's a link below to leonardo ai if you haven't signed up yet you may need to apply to gain access and it takes a little bit of time but uh a great platform easy to use and i highly recommend it and i hope that's given you a bit of an idea on how it works so uh thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please consider giving it a like otherwise have a great day i hope to see you again soon